Hello friends, welcome to Get Up. My name is Vikas Vadoria, and today I'm going to start a very important subject of civil engineering, which is engineering mechanics. Friends, every year in the Get Exam of civil engineering, engineering mechanics is asked in two or three marks. So you must be thinking that how what is the importance of this subject for Get Exam, friend? Two marks are very important. You don't see it as uh, look at is as two marks. It is very important because these two marks form the base for those ten marks of strength of material. Oh, you must be thinking how this is possible, friends. Engineering mechanics is the basic for strength of material because most of the thing that we study engineering mechanics, we have to apply those things in strength of material. Although those are not at all related because engineering mechanics is the science of study of rigid body and strength of material is the science of study of deformable body. But still, those two are related. because most of the things that will be studying in engineering mechanics will be applying those concept in the strength of material now for talking about gate exam every year in the gate exam if you see the weighted analysis of civil engineering papers so i have done a weighted analysis of last 4 years papers and what i have found is every year in the gate exam of civil engineering engineering mechanics if you see uh, 2015 In paper one, it was asked in six marks, and paper two, it was asked in four marks. In 2016, it was asked in three and two marks, and for 17, 18, it was asked in two marks each for every set of paper. So, now if we see that these are only two marks, okay, and comparing to to those 70 marks for technical exam, technical paper, the for uh, the complete subject of civil engineering. these two marks are how much important how they are important friend these are important and the reason is you know that every single rank is every point one marks are used to affect your rank in the gate exam so these two marks are very important why because this subject is very easy if you are going to just understand the concept and solve numericals you will definitely get those two marks in the exam comparatively this subject is very easy you know why because the topics are very less if you see the syllabus the topics are not that much you can easily go through the topics and solve numericals and get those two marks so that's why this subject is very important you can get those two marks just practicing and practicing all right so this is a weighted analysis of previous year gate papers of civil engineering and what you have found is this subject is comes in maximum of 6 marks and minimum of 2 marks all right So, if we go through the syllabus of uh, civil engineering mechanics for gate exam, the topics for uh, in the syllabus are system of forces, free body diagram, and equilibrium equations. Internal forces in the structure in which you will be study trusses and frame. All right, friction and its application, kinematics of point mass and rigid body, center of mass, centroid. and moment of inertia all right so these are some topics which are there in the syllabus of gate exam of civil engineering for engineering mechanics euler's equation of motion friend this euler's equation of motion is for uh, basically in which you will be studying about d alembert principle okay this is for motion of the particle or motion of the body okay so the euler equation of motion is giving you it will be providing you equation for motion of a body then impulse and momentum okay this is again a very important concept okay in which you will be studying about that impulse is equal to rate of change of linear momentum okay then energy method in which you will be studying about principle of work and energy this is again a very important topic principle of work and energy you will be studying in energy methods and finally principle of virtual work this is again a very important topic so these are some topics that are there in the syllabus of engineering mechanics for gate exam of civil engineering all right so we will be covering these topics in our video lectures of engineering mechanics all right and at the end of the video lecture i will i am um, telling you that you would be able to understand the concept of these topics and then you can definitely solve the numericals now so i will be covering these topics in my video lectures but if you want to go into the depth of a particular topic if you want to understand a topic in detail or you want to solve more and more numerical or practice more numericals then you must be thinking 
what kind of books should I refer? Okay, or, or are there any books that you can refer? Yes, there are a lot of books. So there is a good book by foreign author, Agari Popov. This is a very good book or for civil engineers. This is a very good book for engineering mechanics of solid. And you can refer to this books for theoretical and conceptual clarity and also for practical application and examples. So this is a very good book. You can refer to this book. This is a very good book for Indian author. All right. If you uh, go want to go for some Indian author, there's a good book by S.S. Bhavi Katti. Uh, this is good book for numerical approach and theoretical concept. Uh, I believe that you must have studied this book in your B.Tech first year of engineering mechanics. If not, then you can refer to this book. This is a very good book for uh, solving more and more numericals and also for the concept. This is a good book. And at the end, uh, there is also a very good book by I. H. Shames. This is again a very good foreign author book. And you can also refer to this book for theoretical and conceptual clarity and lot of practical applications. So if you want to go into the depth of any topic, if you want to pr uh, practice more and more numerical or live example, okay, that is actually a good thing. If you want to uh, gain knowledge, that's a good thing. But some of you must be thinking, okay, it's for only two marks. So is this relevant to go through into these books? Friends, if you are in the last two months of your preparation, then it is not at all relevant. But if you are confused at any point, Okay, then you can definitely go into the books. If you are confused at any topic or any point or any concept, then you can refer these books. All right. But if you are in the last two months of your preparation and then you are go going into these books, then I will not refer that. Okay. You have to just go through the video lecture that I'll be providing you. That will be more than sufficient for uh, this, those two marks for gate exam. All right. But if you want to go into more and more practicing questions, and also into some depth of any topic or concept, then you can definitely refer these books. Now, what is mechanics and why do we need to study that? Why do we need to study engineering mechanics? Friend, mechanics has been derived from physics. Okay. You all have studied physics in your 10th and 12th. That's why you are an engineer, right? So, Mechanics has been derived from physics and mechanics is a science of study of forces. Science of study of forces on body. Now you must be thinking, what kind of body is this? Is this only science of study of forces? Friend, the forces and body are the two important things in this science. These forces can be external or internal forces and this body can be of three types. One body is called a rigid body, other body is called a deformable body and the last body is called compressible body. And these three bodies and these two forces form the basis of classification of this mechanics into three main branches. What are those branches? First branch is called engineering mechanics, which is also called mechanics of rigid body. Second br branch is called mechanics of material or solid mechanics, which is also called strength of material. All right. So this is a very good subject for civil engineers. This is a very important subject also. This is also called mechanics of deformable body as compared to mechanics of rigid body, which is engineering mechanics. And last, mechanics of fluid, which is called mechanics of compressible bodies, okay, or incompressible, compressible or incompressible bodies. Here the body is also called fluid, okay, here the body is not solid body, this is basically for fluid. So mechanics of fluid is called, uh, is again a classification of engineering mechanics, all right, mechanics of compressible or incompressible fluids. Now, in your syllabus of gate exam of engineering mechanics, since this mechanics, you will be, you have to study engineering mechanics, but these two subjects are again very important. This comes in the gate exam in uh, 9 marks or 8 marks, this again in 9 marks or 10 marks, but this, as you can see, 2 to 3 marks is the weightage of engineering mechanics. But I am telling you my friends, this again forms the base 
for strength of material and mechanics of fluid you will be studying most of the things here in the engineering mechanics that you can apply definitely in this two things okay that is mechanics of material or strength of material and also in fluid mechanics or called mechanics of fluid okay so this again a very important subject okay so we'll be covering this subject in the in our video lecture all right now this engineering mechanics is further classified which is called mechanics of rigid body will come later what is rigid body what is deformed body we will study understand it later so this uh, engineering mechanics is further classified into two parts statics and dynamics the statics is called science of study of forces study of forces on body which is at rest which is at rest or moving with a constant velocity that is called statics and dynamics is study of forces on a body which is in motion okay that is dynamics so this engineering mechanics is further classified into statics and dynamics so we'll be covering this engineering mechanics in our subsequent video lectures now i hope you have understood the classification of uh, in mechanics all right now what is engineering mechanics again as we have discussed engineering mechanics is a study of external forces and its effect on the rigid body okay and in that we will be studying about displacement velocity acceleration further we will be studying about what is force what is torque what is moment we will be studying these parameters in engineering mechanics all right now as we know this uh, has been further classified into statics and dynamics statics as i have discussed it deals with equilibrium of body under the action of forces now this body can be either at rest or move with a constant velocity okay so if there is any body which is at rest okay and we want to study the effect of forces on that body which is at rest or moving with a constant velocity then that science is called statics okay and in dynamics we deal with study of forces on a body which is in motion all right that means we study accelerated motion this dynamics is further classified into kinematics and kinetics so what is kinematics and kinetics in kinetic kinematics we study the effect of forces on a body which is in motion without considering the cause of motion okay and what is the cause of motion cause of motion is force okay so we will not be studying the cause of motion we only be studying motion that will be only studying displacement velocity acceleration will be studying only these things in kinematics but in kinetics we study effect of body which is in motion considering the cause of motion which is force moment torque okay so we will be studying these parameters impulse all these things will be studied in kinetics okay but in kinematics we will be only studying body which is in motion without considering the cause of motion so you should understand the difference between these two uh, classification of dynamics that is kinematics and kinetics all right now you must have been hearing the, uh, i have uh, i i was saying that this engineering mechanics is a science of study of rigid body what is this rigid body and how it is different from deformable body which is mechanics of solid that is in strength of material we study deformable body so what is the difference between these two bodies and why uh, do we need to study separately rigid body and deformable body why there was a separate separate subject for these two kind of bodies why friend rigid body is a kind of body if the position of its various particle remain fixed relative to each other all right and if a body is such that its relative position changes in presence of externally applied load then it is called a deformable body all right so if the relative position of a body changes when we apply some load then it is called a deformable body okay so let us understand it with the help of a example suppose there is a support fixed support and there is a rod okay there is a rod which is attached to this fixed support 
and at the end of this rod there is a block. There is a block here, this is a rod. Now what we are going to do, we are going to apply a force. We are going to apply a force at the end of this block. Now due to the effect of this force, this block, suppose there is a change in position of this block. Initially the block was here at one point and now this it, this is at point two, all right. So you can see that is there any change in the relative position of the particle of the body? You can see that suppose there are particle one, two, three. Okay, so the relative position of the particle is not changed. You can see that there is no change in relative position and also the dimension of the body are also not changed. Okay, the dimension will remain same. Only thing that is different is this block has been displaced from its initial position and that displacement is equal to x2 minus x1. Okay, suppose this is 1 x1, this is x2, so displacement is equal to x2 minus x1. So this block is called displaced. Alright, now what will happen on this rod? What will be the effect of this force on the rod? This rod will be deformed laterally. So this is called deformation. Suppose that initially the diameter of the rod was D and the length was L. Alright, now after the application of uh, this force, what will happen to the diameter? this diameter has increased to some amount and there is a change in diameter. Okay, there is also a change in length. So you can see that there is a change in dimension of the body that is rod. So this rod will be called a deformable body because there is a change in the relative position of the body due to this external force. So, in this particular case, a rod is called a deformable body and this block is called a displaced body. So, block will be also called as a rigid body. Okay? Rigid, why rigid? Because the relative position are not changed due to external force. That's why it's called a rigid body and rod is called a deformable body. So, this is the difference between a rigid and deformable body. In engineering mechanics, you will be studying science of rigid body. Okay? That will be studying effect of forces on a rigid body. But in strength of material, we study the effect of forces on deformable body. Alright? So I hope you have understood the difference between rigid and deformable body. And in this introductory video of engineering mechanics, we have covered the syllabus of engineering mechanics for gate exam. Along with that, we have also covered the reference book. What is the reference book? And finally, what is engineering mechanics? and the classification of engineering mechanics. From the next video lecture onwards, we will be starting to cover the syllabus of engineering mechanics from the next video lecture. So till then, keep practicing, keep growing on grade up. Thank you and have a good day.